Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Mad Vapor here. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on one of my favorite builds. So I got all my wire out here. I got everything from 22 gauge to 32 gauge. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out some of the 28. So look at the rest of this for right. All right, yeah. So what my build is, or one of my favorite builds here is gonna be the zipper kit. The zipper coil. So what I normally end up doing, pull out probably about four feet, five feet wire there. We're gonna clip that. Then we're gonna do that again. This is always more fun when you've actually straightened your wire first, but you know, I don't do that normally. I like messing with the tangle. Alright, so once you have two wires, they are the same length there. You can take what's left over on your roll, wrap that back up, and go ahead and put it away. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these wires. Okay. And I'll bring the ends together. It doesn't have to be straight for this. It doesn't really matter. I normally end up sitting here messing with it while it's all curled up and everything. But what I do here at the end is I make like a little curve there. Okay. So that way, when you get it in the drill, I don't know if you can see that or not. See how that little leg sticks out the side? And we'll tighten that up. Okay. Now this is my fun little tool. Different people use different things, but I found this really, really cheap, really easy. I just found it for free, and so I use it all the time. But I take my little hook, and you're going to get that inside your wire. Stretch it out. Okay, make it nice and tight. Doesn't matter which direction you do the first one in. We'll do this one in reverse. I just go till it snaps. Normally. We're actually going to go a little tighter on this one. So... That should be a little bit better. Now, if you can see, probably not. But I have it tightly twisted, okay? And that's reverse twisted. So then what you do, after you twist that one all up, make that look pretty. Grab your other wire, okay? Once again, we're gonna fold it in half, bring the ends together, all right? You take those ends, fold them up, get that 90 in there. And with our drill, we're gonna put it in there. Tighten it down again. Okay. 
grab the little hook. And we're gonna stick that in there, stretch it out so it's nice and tight. Don't worry about bends and stuff in the wire, it's okay. All right, now this one, you're gonna flip direction. So the other one was counterclockwise, reversed. This one is gonna be clockwise twisted. Same thing. You feel it pull together a little bit. Keep tension on it as you're doing that. When it snaps, normally it's a pretty tight twist there. All right, so now I have my twisted wires here and I will give you a picture of these later on here. So that way you can see what they look like. So one is twisted count, one is put twisted clockwise, one is twisted counterclockwise. Real simple, easy peasy deal there. So what I'll do is here at the end where I have it wrapped up, I'll just put those little ends off. Okay. And then the simple part is once you have this, you set them next to each other, okay? And this part is pretty easy if you know how to do a parallel. So me, once again, on the mad vapor, so I kind of use weird tools. Let's pull out a Phillips screwdriver, right? All right. What's the inner diameter? I'm not sure. I think it's about a two and a half, just to let you know. But, so I hang on to it on the side there with my fingers. Make sure that the wires are parallel to each other, not overlapping or anything. And you want to wrap it around. And around, and just go ahead and keep coiling it. Sorry about the heater firing up. Not my choice. All right, and what I am using here is I do use 28 gauge Canthal. I'm not a big fan of the Nichrome thing because, uh, well, I like my wires to actually have a little rigidity to them and, and the Nichrome I have to preheat and I just don't really want to. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, so I do normally do my seven wraps on there. And once you get that, flip it. And now the rest is all measured. I don't think I need to show you on both coils. I mean, I, one coil, you just do the same thing twice. All right, guys, so once you have twisted one counterclockwise, twisted one clockwise there, and then you run them parallel, this is what you'll get. 28 gauge zipper coil. And if you look at it, you can kind of see how it gets that name. So, that's how you build one of the simplest coils that is one of my absolute favorites. Hope that helps you guys.